Hello, Dad. How Hi. are you doing today? Mm, not so well. I'm, my teacher sent me here. I see. And how did that make you feel? Stupid, really. I mean, my teacher said, said she sent me here to get in touch with my feelings, whatever that means. So, what made her send you here? Well, I failed her test, and then she asked me something about it, and I was like, well, I mean, your class is really, really boring. Oh, damn. And I basically told her her class was boring and she was boring, and I don't care about anything that's in her class. I mean, it was kind of harsh, but... Well, well, how do you think that made her feel? Hmm, I don't guess so good, but I was just being honest. I understand. Well, have you th ever thought about why you think English is boring? What, what, the reasoning behind it? I mean, it's just pointless. I mean, I'm not ever going to use sentence diagramming or mm. who wrote Frankenstein or whatever. Mm. Like, I don't need any of that. Well, I understand your frustration. You're not failing the test in English because you're unintelligent. It's quite the contrary. I know you are intelligent. Your problem is your attitude toward the class and your teacher. That is the problem. Really? You don't think, indeed. You don't think what you're learning really matters or applies to your life. But on the contrary, it does indeed. And I bet there's a way that your learning does apply to your life. Really? And we're going to talk about this further. And I'm going to talk to your teacher about making these connections more clear in class. Oh, well thanks. I never really thought about it that way before. I mean, I guess, yes. yeah, I didn't see the purpose behind it. There is a purpose. It's all about the attitude. Well, thanks, Dr. Blaine. It is my pleasure. That's why I'm here.